Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and His truth endures to all generations. This is a great day. For this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Brothers and sisters, it's just a great time to be alive. And in the midst of all that's going on, around us, in spite of all that we find ourselves in the midst of, we should bring glory and honor to the name of our God. I'm happy to come to you again and try to provide a word of encouragement and also give you some information and uh, bring about some inspiration as we are sheltering in place. I want to remind you today that life is like a voyage. The circumstances of life are much like the weather. Sometimes we have smooth sailing and other times we find ourselves in the midst of a storm. In Acts chapter 27, Paul found himself in a storm through no fault of his own. Much like where we are with this pandemic that's going on. We're in it, though it's no fault of our own. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything to bring danger upon himself. And yet, he's in the midst of a storm. The problem was the people in charge of the ship were driven by several things. One of the things they were driven by was compulsion. Wanting to do something even if it's wrong. It was not the time to be sailing, but they decided to sail on. And sometimes we're moved by compulsion. Amen. There are some things we get into, before we get into them, we already know it's wrong, it's not right, it's not good. During this season of sheltering in place, don't be moved by compulsion compulsion to want to get out, the compulsion to want to be among other people, the compulsion uh, to do what others are doing. But then they were, there was also some consultation. The captain of the ship trusted the opinions of others rather than the word of God spoke through Paul when Paul had warned them, this is not a good time to be sailing. One was compulsion, the other was the wrong consultation. Uh, there are a whole lot of voices that are speaking in the midst of this pandemic. I trust you will get in the Word of God and listen for the voice of God in the midst of this crisis. But then there was another thing that was comfort. They chose the easy way out. And brothers and sisters, we have, to, we have to lean towards the side of caution in the midst of this coronavirus. That we can't take the easy way. We've got to shelter in place and settle down. And then they were moved by the consensus. They took a vote and they heeded the majority vote rather than the mind of God. Because everyone else is doing it. Amen. It's not a good rule to live by, and if everybody else is doing it, I'm going to join in. But even in the midst of this storm, God protected Paul in the storm. And I want to remind you that in spite of all that's going on, God is our protector. He not only protected Paul, but the Bible says he protected the others who were on board of the ship with him. They were not even believers. Paul was the only saint on the ship, and yet his presence was enough to save all the others who were on the ship. God wants us to be a witness even in the midst of all that's going on around us. And then God gave Paul a promise that, Paul, you're not going to perish. You're going to make it to Rome, 
because you must stand before Caesar. God gave him a promise because God had a plan. And God has a plan for your life. And God has given us some promises. He has promised that he would never leave us nor forsake us. He has promised that his grace is sufficient. He has promised to be with us always, even to the end of the ages. And I want to say to you that no matter how dark it gets in life right now, never doubt in the dark what God has told you in the light. You trust God's word. And then God brought Paul through the storm. He and, and all that were on board with him, they made it safely even on broken pieces to suggest to us that when God has a plan for your life, all hell can't stand against it. God is going to see us through. Let's pray. Gracious God, our Father, we thank you for this day. And even in the midst of all that's going on, we praise and we glorify your name. We pray your continued blessings upon this place known as Mount Olive. Rather, gathered are scattered, we are yours. We belong to you and we're trusting you. We pray, O oh God, for your protection. We pray for your provisions. We pray that you will see us safely through. For we pray and ask it all in the wonderful name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Savior. I want to remind you that if you have a need to leave home, wear a mask, wear protective gloves, I also want to remind you that this Saturday evening at 6 o'clock, we will have our corporate prayer line. We had some troubles with the system uh, on Wednesday evening. Hopefully, they will be all aired out by Saturday evening at 6 o'clock. And then we want you to join in with us by way of live streaming at 8.45 on Sunday morning for our Sunday school review, and then at 9 a.m. for our worship as we celebrate Palm Sunday. Also, let me remind you and encourage you to continue to give. The means and ways of giving is provided for you on the screen right now. I want you to remind you that I'm thinking about you, I love you, and I look forward to the time when we will gather again as a Mount Olive family in corporate worship. God bless you and you have a great day in the Lord.